Uh, my name is Jennifer Jen. Uh, I'm from Mary Baldwin College, and my mentor is Dr. Amar. Uh, and so my project is modeling and simulating gold nanoparticle interactions in uh, liquid air. <coughs> So the idea is that you have a droplet of toluene and you have and you have uh, gold nanoparticles inside this and this is created by uh, the method of fabricating the gold nanoparticles and so uh, on the on the and as the toluene droplet evaporates the gold nanoparticles will begin to uh, cluster together and form islands on the top of the of the droplet and eventually these kind of coalesce into a film that then uh, can be used for other things. So that's why it's important to understand well, how these nanoparticles interact. So th because they uh, form interesting reshaped islands, it's so you can create a uh, uh, nanoparticle film. Uh, this is the time lapse of photos of um, the of oh, you look above over the droplet, and you can see the gold nanoparticles. At first, they're too small. They're just gold, they're gold nanoparticles with diameters of like five nanometers. Uh, so eventually, as you start coalescing, you can see you can start to see tiny dots, which are the tiny are the islands, tiny clusters, um, and they get bigger and bigger and start. Eventually, you can see at the very end, they're kind of it's almost uh, they almost they're all touching. They're starting to uh, become a film. So, the, um, so the idea is that you, um, the island size distributions of these uh, of these nanoparticle islands um, experimentally don't match up with the, um, what the theory should what's, would have them say. Uh, according, uh, this graph shows um, in red and in this dotted line uh, the theor what theory says that the island size distribution would look like. It's a normal curve with the um, uh, this is the number of uh, the number of islands and the area. So they're centered at one, but uh, experimentally, these symbols represent what the experimental island size distributions are, and they're shifted to the left, and no one's really sure why. Uh, so that's so the purpose of our uh, of my project is to try to um, include. Uh, Mary Wall's attraction and dipole dipole repulsion to uh, uh, inside a inside a computer program that will model this uh, and, and uh, find the uh, data for island size distributions to see how um, including attraction and repulsion will uh, will affect the island size distribution and just playing around with the parameters to see how if you change. Uh, stronger attraction, less stronger erosion, that kind of thing, uh, what uh, would happen to island size distribution. Um, so, so far, uh, we've written a code that calculates the Van der Waals attraction and dipole erosion between uh, two rings, which are pretty much, they represent a cluster, uh, two clusters of different sizes, and then uh, found an equation that will estimate the, uh, the total energy between, uh, the total energy, uh, uh, the Van der Waals attraction energy and the and the propulsion and calculate the energy barrier from that and then found an equation that given the, the sizes of the two clusters, you can uh, estimate the energy barrier between them. So this is the equation. And um, then so and then we've also modified uh, Yevgen A. Krukov's code uh, to uh, display animation. So you can see, actually start to see the particles moving around, diffusing and depositing and glossing. So what we're planning to do next is, um, because what we've done is for animation of a very small system with low coverage, um, which means like not a lot of islands, uh, fast, um, uh, fast deposition, faster deposition than is normal. So uh, just have to make that more realistic and more like, the experiment. So uh, questions? Any questions? Yeah. Well, I'm interested to know more about this this gold nanofilm. What is it? Uh, what's what are the uh, uses for this? Or is it um, is it not really used? It's in? just um, self assembly of uh, gold nano. Like you can use it for gold nano crystals and gold nano uh, films. I'm I'm thinking there's probably some uh, uses in probably some like nano electronics or something. Okay. Interesting.
Yeah, Dick. Uh, I guess I missed. What was the time scale in your your time lapse photography? You had a had a time sequence about how much time was it elapsed? Was uh, it volume to evaporate? I don't remember, but I think it's why it's it takes quite a bit of time. It's like not on the scale of a couple, of couple seconds. It's like a sure. over a couple minutes, several minutes, I think. And is 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 it possible to? study it as a function of how fast it's happening? I mean, uh, probably not. Function of, uh, like study the evaporation of the droplet as well? Yeah, yeah. Even that time, okay. Uh, I don't really know about that. Okay. Do you have a physical basis for the parameters of Van der Waals and dipole interaction? Is there a... Okay, um, well, the real nanoparticles, when they're, um, Created, they have a, a, a dope, they have a, some thiols on them, uh, dope cane or thiols, I think. Uh, so uh, there's gold and sulfur in the thiol. So uh, when they have the bond, it creates, it creates like a dipole sort of um, dipole sort of thing on the nanoparticles. So then there's going to be a repulsion. And also, uh, Van der Waals is just from uh, uh, induced any randomly induced dipole will then, you know, induce more dipoles and create attraction and that sort of thing. All right, let's thank Jennifer again.